This is the Menswear Manifesto 5. It's a guide to 449 Bolo brands. These are, to my mind, now in the fifth iteration of this, the main core of the used menswear market on eBay. This is the stuff that is above average to excellent. And it's broken down to show you exactly what is average, above average, subpar, and excellent. This is a pay what you want product. I ask that you figure out what you think it's worth and then give me that. I am told that this has made people a lot of money. Here's the basic breakdown of how it works. It's alphabetized and I color code the names of the brands based on the total sell-through rate for the entirety of the brand. And I calculated these sell-through rates by hand, arduously. Um, everything over 90% is coded as blue. Everything below 90 is purple, this dark purple. And then there are a few that are green that are over 300% sell-through just on a brand level. You can't go just by sell-through rate on a brand level to give you a clear picture of what's going on in any given brand. Like Cool, for example, is purple. It's 88% sell-through at the time of my tabulation for this brand. Um, some of it is not in extreme demand. For example, swimwear right now, swimsuits and stuff are not doing well. Hoodies are doing exceptionally well. That's in bold face. That means it's over two times sell-through. All of these categories are doing great, but there's a bunch of stuff in here that's doing so-so. I do this for every single brand. And some of these brands, the big ones, the big complicated ones like Nike, I go into a ton of editorial detail here, breaking down how to look up style codes specific to that brand, what in that brand is above average in value, especially desirable or especially worth avoiding. Here's another example, Levi's is purple. It's 37% on a brand level, which isn't great. And that's all in pre-owned condition. All the percentages and sell-throughs, it's all selected for pre-owned condition. No high sell-through categories until you get down to the breakdown of the jeans, codes, the cuts, and there are four of them that are in high demand. I try to, in the really complicated brands like this, go into as much detail as I possibly can to give you a, an advantage. There's also just tons and tons of these smaller brands that you might not be familiar with until you read the guide, like Ministry of Supply, Mission Workshop. This is a little boutique brand out of San Francisco. Their stuff is super valuable. I break down the average sale prices for uh, each brand as well on a scale of six. I put a ton of work into this it took about a month and a half of solid work to, to do all of this by hand. And this is not AI. I don't have assistance. It's just me doing this. If you want to get it, there's a link in the description that'll take you to this page. And then here, name a fair price. You can put in whatever you want. I believe 20 bucks is more than a good deal. Uh, I think that is more than fair. But again, I leave it to your, your judgment. When you buy it, it'll take you to a page that has a link on it to the menswear manifesto. And I also set up an automated email to send you a link directly to your email inbox if you don't want to go through that intermediary page. And it does work on your phone. If you want to use it on your phone, I suggest that you download the Google Docs app because it's just best for compatibility. This is the most useful the menswear manifesto has ever been. There's the most information in it of any version of the manifesto and I'm really proud of it. I hope that it makes you some money. I hope that it's useful. Um, I've gotten pretty much nothing but good feedback on the manifesto. It's helped a lot of people. So hope that it helps you too. Thanks for watching.